So I've been testing both of these projectors, the Bava and the Wimax Nova. Now both are ultra short throw laser projectors with 4K resolution, HDR, both can display up to 150 inch and are roughly around the same price. So which one should you buy? Hey guys, Joseph here, welcome back to the channel. So this time I'm comparing this awesome ultra short throw laser projectors. So sit back, relax and let's do this. All right, so the first thing I notice is the size difference. The Baba measures 21 inches by 14 and a half by four and a half inches tall, while the Wemax measures 12 inches by 18 inches long by a little less than four inches tall. That makes the Wemax smaller and more portable. Now, something to keep in mind is that the Bava needs to be around 10 and a half inches away from the wall to produce a 103 inch screen size and the Wimax needs 11 inches to produce the same size of screen. It is also lighter than the Bava. It's not like you're going to be moving the projector all the time, but if you don't have a lot of space, the Wimax is probably the best choice. Now, when it comes down to ports, they both have the same amount. 3 HDMI 2.0, one USB port, audio and video connections, optical port for audio, LAN port for internet. Both projectors have a power button on top and Wimax also has an extra USB 2.0 on the right side. Now both projectors have a premium design, they feel high quality, the Bava is available in black or white, while the Wimax Nova is available in dark gray. Now one of the reasons the Baba projector has a larger housing is because it has a larger set of speakers. There are two 30 watt Harman Kardon drivers that decode Dolby and DTS sound. The Wimax Nova has two full range 10 watt speakers and two 5 watt tweeters for a total of 30 watts sound and decodes Dolby and DTS HD sound. The Baba does sound better out of the box but honestly I use my own system via HDMI ARC which does sound better, but if you're relying on the sound from the projector alone, then the Bava has the upper hand. All right, so let's jump into picture quality because I know a lot of you guys want to know which one looks better. Now for this, I'm using a CLR3 screen by Akia, which is a ceiling-like rejecting screen designed for ultra short throw projectors. I highly recommend you get an ALR screen for the best picture possible, whether it's this model or the Elite Eon CLR or XY screens. They all use similar sawtooth optical structure to reject light from overhead while reflecting light from below back to the viewer. Now it won't deliver blacks as an OLED, but turning out the lights basically just improve the black level further while otherwise retaining color and subjectively similar brightness on the highlights. Now check out my review on the screen if you'd like to learn more about it. Okay, so both projectors can display 4K resolution. They rely on pixel shifting technology and I gotta say, both look amazing. The picture is very sharp and you can see every small detail even if you get closer. Now I do notice the difference in brightness. Baba projector is rated at 2500 ANSI lumens, while the Wimax delivers 2100 ANSI lumens. So the Baba looks a bit brighter, and this works better when you have an ambient light or during daylight. Now you can choose different picture modes, from standard mode to movie mode for a more warm natural colors, or you can also customize the picture to your taste, and these options are included on both projectors. Now if you enjoy watching sports, either of these projectors will work fine. Even though there are no motion interpolation options on either projector, watching games on the big screen is awesome, and also the upscaling look really good. I have no complaints about this. Now for gaming, the Wimax Nova has a game mode setting that lowers the input lag to around 40 milliseconds. 
Yes, I know it's not the best for multiplayer games like Call of Duty that requires high response time and the lowest input lag, but it is definitely better than the BABA which is around 100 milliseconds. Now with that being said, I still play Warzone and it was good. I definitely feel the difference since I'm used to play on a monitor. Now I highly recommend to play racing games on a big screen. It is very immersive and a lot of fun. One thing I notice is that the picture gets a bit darker when using game mode and there are no settings available to adjust it. So if you want a brighter picture, go for standard mode or user. Just keep in mind that the input lag will increase. Now like I said, Baba doesn't have game mode and the input lag is very high but you can still play single player games with no problems. The picture does get brighter so HDR gaming does look a little bit better. Now with that being said, Wimax Nova is the better option for gaming. One big advantage the Baba projector has is a 3D support. Movies look awesome in 3D with active glasses and a big screen. Now one thing I noticed is that 3D picture gets a very dim and there are no options to increase brightness. So 3D performance is not as good as other projectors. Now one advantage that the Wimax has is that it has a built-in Android 9 operating system. Out of the box you'll be able to enjoy thousands of apps, movies, even some games if you want. It is super easy to set up your account with your phone and there's no need for extra equipment. Now on the other hand, Bava doesn't have an operating system. It does have Aptoid for apps but they are outdated and they don't work most of the time. So I use an Amazon Fire Stick and I'm very happy with it. I'm able to control it with the projector's remote so I don't worry about having more controllers laid around. Now talking about controllers, they both use Bluetooth so the connection is very fast. They are very reliable and easy to use. Now the biggest advantage here is that the Wemax controller has voice commands and Google Assistant. So I guess it all comes down to the price. The Wemax sells for around $2,200 while the Bava sells for around $2,800. That is a $600 difference for projectors that have almost the same performance. With that extra money, you can buy a soundbar or maybe a sound system and enjoy better audio. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. And here's some other videos that I think you're going to enjoy. I'm Joster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Joster out.